I'm so pumped to test out the new ChatGPT agents. Agent mode is now live. Interestingly enough, as of recording this video, like after I recorded it, OpenAI actually announced that they're shutting down operator because they are bringing the feature directly into ChatGPT permanently with the agent mode, which is pretty amazing. And I only expect even crazier things going forward. So let me show you the examples of what I did. All right, so we're about to test out the new agent mode that launched in chat GPT. Super excited about this. And of course, I created some research, uh, some potential items that I can run and have this agent do for me so that we're not just completely starting from scratch. Now, I rated them, but we'll work on a number of these. Um, anything that's got at least medium or fire, which is good. So we'll attempt to run those in this chat. All right, so let's get going. Let's um, let's pick one. I'm. <laughs> let's start with this fire one here. Analyze my YouTube channel. I'm curious to see if it can do this. Analyze my YouTube channel. Go out and research related topics on YouTube and see if you can find good trending content that would work well on my channel. So let's copy and paste that into here. Uh, I'm curious to see if it knows what my channel is. My assumption would be that it does not, but uh, but let's find. All right, and then we're. We're gonna start another chat as well. All right, research videos in the make money online space and find viral videos. Make note of their headline thumbnail formulas and create a report. Now, I didn't say YouTube, so we'll see if it decides YouTube or does it go to like social media content as well. I don't know, we're gonna find out. For this first one, I'm thinking I failed to add the agent aspect of it. That's my bad, so let's confirm that we did that. Agent mode, cool. All right, so coming back to this one, really interesting. The one that's analyzing my YouTube channel, it knew my YouTube channel just based off of, I guess, my account, which is pretty cool. And it failed the first time going to it. It tried like a URL that like incorrectly happened and so it corrected itself. It searched on YouTube for top trending topics. Let's let it do its thing. Let's come back to this one. All right, so we're researching videos and make money online space. Cool, looks like we're actually going to, it's, Maybe not tying itself to YouTube, so that's kind of that's kind of interesting. So let's let this um let's let this individual keep working and we'll come back. Let's start a new one. Alright. For this one I want to do some research for our silent disco headphones. And I want to say research DJs in the Mobile Alabama area and generate a contact list in CSV format. I'll be really interested to see how it goes about this one. I'll pick two more. All right, looks like this one is working. Before I go back and check on the others, let me launch this new one. For this one, I wanna research speakers from the last five years of FinCon, an event that I've, this is an event that I've been to, and I wanna add their contact info, their niche, and a brief summary in a CSV file. Let's see how we do with this. I'm scared to try another one. I feel like I'm gonna overload this thing, but um, let's do it. All right, one more. Mm, this one's interesting. It's like a website analysis. So we'll do one website at a time because I don't want to. I don't want to confuse it. All right, let me come back to that. Don't want to get lost. Got to get five people on their jobs first, right? Before uh, before I come back and give some instruction and see how everyone's doing. So agent mode scan. Let's do brooksconkle.com to provide feedback and ideas on what I can and should improve on the website now. This is vague information, vague instructions. I'll probably get vague feedback, but what I may get, and I'm not sure, but what I may get is I could get some information or uh, or thoughts back that I didn't think of because I did not give clear instructions. So we're gonna find out. Let's see how we go, all right? Send that one off, get to work. All right, time to check on all these guys. It's um kind of crazy. Uh-oh, okay, I've overloaded. I have overloaded. I'm not sure what's gonna happen there. We're gonna find out. It's interesting to see it work because it's combining the thinking reasoning model with a desktop, right? So like not only is it thinking and reasoning, but it's able to go out on basically a desktop, right? right? Like a virtual computer and do this. So here, so I'll I'll show you what I mean. So here, here we are on the DJs. I mean, it's literally on a computer, right? It's literally on a virtual computer doing this research as we speak. 
I just found a, a broken website. It's okay. You can see the thought process of what it's doing on the screen. Like this one's still searching. Make money online. Let's go check this one. So this guy still doing research, working. This one is done. So analyze my YouTube channel and find, go and find search related topics. All right, let, let's, let's see what it says. Uh, so it worked four minutes. Wow, it knows my channel's been around a decade. I have almost 5K, so 4.9K subs, 661 videos. That's a lot of shorts, actually. So the popular tab shows that your evergreen tutorials and side hustle reviews drive the most traffic. The topics include um, professional business setup, which I've actually thought about hiding, even though that has the most reviews. It's kind of funny, or the most views. Canva transparent survey junkie review recurring payments. Uh, yeah, there's like tutorial things, which I've kind of I've kind of gotten away from. Um, I don't I don't do them partially partially on purpose yet. You know, you can see that they have a they have a good bit of a, um, a good bit of traffic. Recent uploads pivot towards AI and no code tools. How to build a 1K website, but views are still modest. 1.2K to 350. That's true. The data suggests your audience trusts you for straightforward how-to guides, honest reviews of side hustle platforms, and practical business tools. Maybe I need to listen to this. Maybe I need to lean in. Maybe I need to lean in. Um, wow, this is really good information. Pretty good information. I'm going to come back and I'm going to research that later, but I thought that was cool what it did. So this one's still going. Curious to see what the results of this one's going to be. Maybe maybe we will come down and do another one. Um, we'll see. Maybe we'll do a, a sixth one. All right, still researching DJs here. Good job. Keep it up. Keep it going. Interesting. Did I say continue? I don't recall if I, I don't, maybe I clicked the button and said continue or something. I'll compile CSV. Uh, so we'll do that. Let's see if we can open it in the tab. Yeah, well, let me open it in a tab. Now, so I looked at the CSV. It's got 20 speakers. Here's the thing. I recognize the names, which is pretty awesome. So you found it on the website. It's all speakers from this year. Um, so while that's good, okay, we need to research more online and try to find speakers from the previous years, period. The speakers that you have on the sheet are the ones that are speaking at this upcoming event in a few months, period. How can we go out and dig deeper to find speakers from past events, question mark? Oh, interesting. So it's not using, it's no longer using the agent. Well, that's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. That's okay. All right, work for one minute. Is one minute long enough? Let's spend a little bit more time. Spend a bit more time and dig deeper into the website, period. Look at things like site structure, comma, content, comma, SEO, comma, and other things that you might do to analyze a website that you are looking to make improvements, period. And then when you create the report, please make it clean and easy to read for us, period. Thanks, exclamation point. All right, so let that think a little bit more. DJs, I love it. We're still working, still working on the DJs. This is so neat just to watch it work. Oh, this is amazing. Now I have no idea what websites are on here. Okay, we're on Reddit. We're on. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? I just sent you out. Sent you out on a journey, and you're out there doing it. Let me know if you need me to narrow down the list to a top five or contact any of these folks on your behalf. Holy smokes! Yes, we're not going to do that today. Um, mainly because it scares me, but that's okay. All right. CSV, is this actually the CSV file? Well, let's download this, let's have a look. Wow, it's a clean list, very cool. Um, do we wanna reach out? Maybe. Can you help me reach out to them? Go back to FinCon. Yep, that's the one that no longer has an agent. Move that over here. Navigation. Okay, so now we're back to feedback from my website, navigation. Post are organized under numerous categories. Every page ends with the navigation, links, terms, policies, copyright. The site uses a consistent layout across multiple pages with a side menu. However, repeating the same menu in the header, sidebar, and footer can clutter the interface. Totally agree with this. That's a good point. Posts are published with a table of contents for easy navigation. This is helpful. Category pages can feel overwhelming because there are many overlapping topics. For instance, business, blogging, make money online, social media, and podcasting often intersect. Totally agree with this. What does that mean we should do? Should we... Actually, let's go. Do I... Let's go to the site. Do I... I just recently removed those categories from... I had them in the menu item uh, up, up here in the menu. Because three years ago, we were writing tons of blog content. 
uh, how to start a blog. So let's go here. This is actually a blog topic. So yeah, so it didn't find that in the menu. Really interesting because it's no longer in the menu. So like for it to know uh, this, for it to know it had all these category pages, it had to like dig into the website, which is pretty cool. Domains for sale is essentially a raw list. There's no filtering, search, or explanation of why each domain is valuable. I like that. It's a great observation. Style and tone. Posts frequently include personal philosophy, topics and coverage, SEO considerations, keyword targeting, um, internal linking. Oh my gosh, this is pretty crazy. All right, recommendations. Probably what I'd skip to here. Simplify navigation, improve the homepage funnel, enhance service pages. Um, I totally agree with this. Like my website's never been static. It was like a big blog and now it's a, like, it's kind of a work in progress. And now it's more of, it like, like it is more of a funnel, more of a showcase. I have a, a lot of blog posts. I have like a life list there. I do have like services. And so like to organize all of these uh, items, it like they're totally things I need to spend time on. So like these are, these are, geez, these are really good. This is really good feedback. Let me get back over to the DJs. Before I start firing off emails or calls, whoa, calls, I need a little more direction. Which DJs are we sending them emails and if so, what address? Um, I don't know if I can email from Brooks at the mobile rundown. The message I want to send the, to them is that I'm looking to hire DJs for my silent disco events and want to speak with them about their pricing and availabilities. All right, let's see what we say there. The completed report and markdown file. Love it. And markdown file, interesting, because that may be useful for like an online tool now that I understand that markdown language is like for software and stuff. So this will be interesting just to scroll three headline formulas that drive clicks. This is insane. All this saved me at least four hours of work. I've got DJ information pulled up here, ready to send them emails. I, like this can even do it for me if I sign into my email, um, which, I'm, which I'm not gonna do at the moment. I have all this research to do and to review for my YouTube channel viral videos to look at, website feedback that, <laughs> that I'm gonna go through and make like a short list of uh, of what to do. This is like, this is at least four hours of work uh, for sure. At least four hours of my time saved just by like poking around and asking some good questions and getting it to go out there. I'm definitely gonna make more videos on this. See you guys in the next one.